Hi, writers. I can't wait to get working with you today. So we are talking all about graphic novels, right? We're trying to become the best graphic novelists that we can. There are some things that are different about graphic novels that make them a little bit special. And some of that specialness comes out especially when we are in the planning stages of our writing, right? We notice that graphic novelists tell the story through pictures as well as words. So we want to make sure that whatever we come up with for our story is something that we can visualize well and something that we can actually draw and create to get the message we want to be coming across in our story. So today we're going to be talking how to generate story ideas, but it's going to be different than how we typically generate and gather ideas. We're gonna actually doodle, doodle or draw to discover today. So I'm going to push you today to make some quick rough sketches as well as quick jots to come up with story ideas. So normally, right, we kind of think, maybe we talk with somebody about it. Today we're going to sketch and think all on the page. I really want you to doodle and I want you to practice some of that drawing and use your drawings and your doodles to bring an idea to life, to generate an idea based on what you're seeing is working well, based on what you're thinking you can create on your page. So let me show you what I mean by this. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you of my document camera here and show you how I'm going to practice doodling to discover. So I'm gonna think of my character, right? The main point of my story is my main character. So I'm gonna start doodling and drawing. I always start with a little circle for the head and then I'm gonna give them a little body. Now for me, I've watched some videos on doodling. You are going to have to maybe do some searching on your own and looking on your own for videos to help you draw your character. So I'm practicing drawing here. I think my person's just gonna wear pants, some shoes. I'm like, all right, now that I'm kind of getting some ideas, I have an outline of a body on the page, I need to start thinking beyond the doodle, right? I have already demonstrated for myself that this is a good body style for me to draw. I have a pretty solid picture here of what it's going to be. I have to start thinking about some of the features, right? I have the head, I have the body. I noticed that I kind of have like a cartoonish body and then it goes right into the head. Thank goodness I'm working in pencil here. I definitely think that I need to give my character a little bit of a neck here. And then maybe add my circle, Ugh, but I don't know. I don't know, the arms are way down here, right? So I'm like, all right, that does not work for it. But as I started doodling and thinking, notice how I was thinking more and more about my character, asking myself questions. What are they wearing, right? I had to make a decision that they were going to wear pants. I'm also asking myself, uh, are they holding anything? Are there any accessories? Are there any props that I can add? So I was kind of working with this body style I found in a video. It definitely doesn't work for me. I'm just gonna put like an X over it to remind myself like, no, 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 no. Miss Crenshaw, make a character that works for you. So now I'm even going a little bit less where I was before. Going very uh, geometric here. I think I could even make a little fun on this one and maybe have some geometric hair. So your characters don't have to be these big, amazing characters either, right? We want to doodle to discover that we can also discover our drawing style and what we are capable of putting on the page ourselves too. Now, I have this like fun little geometric thing. I think that would be a really good theme, especially because as you can see, Ms. Crenshaw, uh, she's willing to put in the effort to draw, but it doesn't always come out beautiful. 
make sure you're picking what works for you, but also you need to think along the way, what kind of character am I having here? What are some traits, some expressions that they might need to be showing in the story? So I'm picturing some happy face, maybe a little circle for like a little blush here, but I'm like, oh, that kind of looks like teardrops. I don't know about that, but I might kind of keep expressions basic. She's probably gonna be happy sometimes and sad. I'm like, yeah, I think this style for facial expressions will work well for me. Yeah, so now I'm thinking, all right, what's my geometric girl going to be experiencing throughout the story? Oh, what if I get her eyebrows? Oh yeah. What will she have a story about her? Um, hmm, well maybe. Maybe she's holding something. Maybe she's holding a dog or a dog leash. I think I'm going to have my character get a puppy. And I think it'd be fun to have a little geometric poochie here. Working with what I got, guys. Working with what I got. He's probably got a little snout. It looks more like a duck. That's all right. I can keep practicing that. But I think I'm gonna have a character that really wants a puppy and does something to get a puppy. So now that I'm thinking about it, I'm starting to think some more about traits of my character. What are her motivations? Her struggles? And maybe even some of her traits. internal and external. Now, the nice thing about graphic novels is your externals already displayed in your picture, right? We can already see this. So I got to start thinking about adding color here. What color is her hair? Does she have a design on her dress, right? The thing is when you're making these pictures, I can't say it enough. It has to be something that you can consistently recreate, right? something that you can definitely continue doing throughout your story. So as much as I think it would be fun for her dress to have a design, maybe I'll just add like a little bow here, right? I don't wanna make this something that is way more challenging than I think I can handle. So her motivations is to get a puppy. Oh, and I think her struggle is she gonna be, she needs money for it. Puppies are not cheap. I'm gonna use a dollar sign. Maybe that could be a face she has. Like as she sees something that makes her money, she can have like dollar signs for her eyes, right? That'd be pretty cool. I think that would be an awesome trait to show some of her thinking, right? Because we can make pictures to show some of the things that we can't put in words or don't wanna explain in words. So now that I have this, I can start building my character a little bit more and maybe even practice some other characters. Now I've already watched a few videos to get ready for this and to kind of come up with ideas for characters. It might take you a little bit longer because you haven't thought about it as much as I did before I shared my thinking with you. So spend some time figuring out how to sketch a character, figuring out what works for you. You might even need to, like I said, we're drawing and jotting, right? We're doodling and jotting. So you might have a lot more jotting than I am. You might have a couple ideas to work with but get it on the page, right? We're thinking on the page today, generating ideas. Who is my main character? What are they going to go through? I'm starting to build my seed idea. So I'm gonna send you off now. Get some practice in doodling and drawing and thinking about what your potential story idea could be. Start by doodling on the page, then jot some of those ideas that go along with your pictures. Happy planning.